In this example, we're going to look at building a reduction table from experimental data, specifically data given to us in a table. What we see here is a pretty typical example. So a technician set up an experiment to test the reactivity of some uncommon metals and their ions. The technician recorded the following data. So if we look at this table, across the top row we have solid metals, palladium, zirconium, indium, and iridium. And if you recall, these solid metals are typically reducing agents. So we're going to label this top row as our reducing agents. Down the first column, we see palladium 2 plus, zirconium 2 plus, indium, excuse, uh, palladium 2 plus, zirconium 2 plus, indium 2 plus, and iridium 2 plus. If you recall, uh, cations are typically oxidizing agents. So we're going to label this column our oxidizing agents. So we have our reducing agents and our oxidizing agents. In a table like this, what we want to look for is the number of reactions that occur. I'm going to look at our, our oxidizing agents first. So if we go from left to right across this table, what we'll see is that uh, palladium 2 plus has two reactions. Zirconium 4 plus has zero reactions. Indium 3 plus has one reaction. And iridium 3 plus has three reactions. You'll notice that none of the metals will react with themselves. So there's no spontaneous metal between, reaction between the metal and its ion. All right, so we have this data. Um, one thing that we should note is that the more reactions an oxidizing agent undergoes, the stronger it is. This also holds true for reducing agents. So the more reactions a reducing agent goes through, the stronger it is. For ease here though, we're just gonna rank our oxidizing agents. So I'm gonna start here with palladium. So two reactions, zirconium has zero, indium has one, iridium has three. Iridium has the most reactions. That means that iridium three plus is our strongest oxidizing agent. And that typically goes in the top right, top left corner of our table. So iridium is gonna gain three electrons. So I'm gonna write the full half reaction to form iridium solid. Our next strongest oxidizing agent, two reactions, is palladium two plus. So palladium two plus is gonna go here. It will gain two, two electrons to form solid palladium. Uh, next up is indium three plus, which will gain three electrons to form solid indium. And lastly, we will have zirconium 4 plus, which didn't react with anything, making it our weakest oxidizing agent. It will gain four electrons to form zirconium solid. So in this table, our strongest oxidizing agent is going to be in the top left. That is indium, or sorry, iridium 3 plus. Now, if we look at our table again, and we were to rank our reducing agents, we see that palladium has one reaction Zirconium has three reactions, indium has two reactions, and iridium has zero reactions. So the strongest reducing agent in this case is actually zirconium, which is found at the bottom right of our table. And so if we remember the rule, the stronger the OA, the weaker the RA, and vice versa. That rule will help you check your work. So if you have something as the strongest oxidizing agent, it should also be the weakest reducing agent or its, its corresponding RA should be the weakest.